Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Valve game Deadlock working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you have an M1, M2, M3 or even future M4 chip, then this is going to be the tutorial for you. So there is no Mac version of this game. We're going to be running the Windows version through a translation layer called Crossover. We're also going to be using CX Patcher in order to update this to the latest version of Game Porting Toolkit 2.0 Beta 3 so that we can take advantage of the latest version of D3D Metal so that we can run this direct X11 title as well as possible on Apple Silicon Hardware. Now just be aware that this is a playtest at the moment, so the Windows version is constantly being updated, so performance is very variable. While performance is fine for now, this could drastically change for better or worse in the future, especially as new updates to this game engine get released. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you the full tutorial on how to get this game working on Apple Silicon hardware using the very best translation layer called Crossover. So the first step is going to be to download Crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% off discount, which is pretty huge, off Crossover Plus, which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support. However, if you want to make sure that this works for you, make sure to check out the 14 day free trial which is what I'm going to be trialing today just click this try now button and then scroll down and all we need to do is enter our email address and name and then click the download trial now button so once crossover is downloaded we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time press open it might ask you to install Rosetta 2 just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already you can enter your details here from the code weavers account so I'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial and basically we're ready to go ahead and use crossover but the first thing I'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to crossover. This is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of D3D Metal. At the time of recording that's version 2.0 beta 3. So here we're going to be downloading the latest version of CX Patcher which I'll be leaving a link in the description and we're going to be using 0.5.6 and this contains the latest update to Game Porting Toolkit 2.0 which is D3D Metal 2.0 beta 3. So here what we're going to do is go to assets and then download the cxpatcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder. And once that's there, we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads. And then we'll go to CX Patcher, double click to extract this. And then we're going to move this into our applications folder. We are going to make sure that we open up Crossover first before we start this process and then close it. And then we're going to double click on CX Patcher. If it says it can't be opened, then go to the Settings menu here, go to System Settings, and then go to Security and Privacy. And then scroll down until we find here, it says CX Patcher can't be opened. It was blocked to protect your Mac. Click Open anyway. And here we close this and press open anyway then we're going to type in our password and then log in that's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the app store type in your password press okay so just be aware that of course this is not a supported method of patching crossover this really comes at your own risk do not ask code weavers for support or refund if you're using this method they will not be able to help you if you need help from code weavers then you should be waiting for official support which is probably going to come in the very near future if you want to be able to use this you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed now cx patch is ready to use so we're going to configure some settings first go to advanced options and then we're going to be enabling dxvk integrate gptk we're going to use a separate bottle path we're going to be advertising avx we're going to be allowing dxvk async and then we can tweak some of these settings too so now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So I double click on crossover. Say so we're going to install Steam. Install. Click yes here. Accept. And now we're just going to go through the standard Windows setup of Steam. And now that's going ahead and downloading Steam. So make sure to allow any kind of permissions that the bottle requests. And then I also advise turning on D3D Metal and also the M-Sync option and then reboot the bottle. This allows us to run DirectX 11 and 12 games through Crossover. Then we're going to make sure to launch Steam. So here we're going to log in with our Steam account. So if you don't have one already, you can create one for free. So now that we have the Windows version of Steam loaded up, we can go into a library and basically download any game that we have. So if you actually want to play the game Deadlock, then you need to get somebody who's already involved in the playtest in order to invite you to actually participate. And once it's in your library, you can go ahead and do a search for it and then download it. So here we're going to search for the game Deadlock, and then we're going to go ahead and install it within the actual Steam bottle within Crossover. Here I'm just going to do an update and then go ahead and launch the game once we're ready. So you might have to wait a couple of minutes for the game to load up properly. 
you can see from the metal HUD at the top right. So this is enabled. If you want to follow the video tutorial on how to put the metal HUD up there, then please make sure to click on the link at the top of the video description. This is the early development build. It does say that the graphic drivers are out of date, but there's nothing to worry about. And we're running this under DirectX 11 under Game 14 Toolkit 2.0 Beta 3. What I want to do with the graphics settings is basically turn them down into the fastest preset in order to get the best performance that we can. And I'm going to go ahead and dive straight into an online match. So here we are, we're actually playing a real online match with some bots, but also with some real people on my team as well. This is the fastest preset at 1440p and we're getting a decent frame rate of 100 or so FPS. Now the game is pretty jittery. I'm not sure whether that's because of the latency. My internet connection is pretty bad, but as well, this game gets updated constantly. So every day you're going to get new updates because the game is being worked on and it is in a playtest. So just be aware that performance can be very variable. It's probably going to improve substantially in the coming months and even years after this video is released. Anyway, that is how you go ahead and play Deadlock on the Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yamato's Blade.